Hey guys, welcome back to the movie cave. Yes, the movie cave is back in action. We, I even have my own shirt. Would you look at it? It's beautiful. It actually has stuff written on the back. Watch this. <laughs> I'm your host, Ethan Barrett, welcoming you back to another hero guide in the Star Wars Battlefront 3 concept video series. But Ethan, you say, what hero are we covering on the hero guides today? Well, I'll tell you, you sexy people. So today we are doing the hero guide for the opposite of Yoda, Emperor Palpatine. Now before I jump into the video, guys, remember, go and watch the other videos in the series. This is part 20, guys. We're at part 20. So, guys, if this is your first time watching anything in this series so far, you're doing it wrong. Follow along, go back and watch the previous videos before you watch this one because it would make more sense going forward. So, with that said, I'm not going to take up any more time. Let's just get straight in. To the video. Alright, the hero guy for Palpatine, Darth Sidious, the opposite to Yoda. Palpatine was the one secretly behind the creation of the Clone Wars, manipulating Anakin Skywalker since the Phantom Menace, patiently waiting, undetected for years, right under the Jedi's noses. They'll never know. <laughs> to finally activate Order 66 to kill the Jedi and begin the Empire as Emperor with the Chosen One at his side. Sidious somehow even managed to survive his fall and return of the Jedi and stay alive until Rey killed him and the and the and the rise of Skywalker went why? Who knows? Seriously, just go and ask Daisy Ridley. The writers didn't know either. Now, I want to point out, Palpatine is perfect already in Battlefront 2. But, there is still so much more you could do. So, how do you add the most powerful Sith ever, in my opinion, into Battlefront 3? Well, let's get to this. But first off, really quick, here's a quick word from my sponsors today. Oh yeah, that's right, I uh... I don't have a sponsor. Although I wish I did. Call me. Now let's get to this. So the thing with Palpatine is he's perfect. Well, I wouldn't change anything. The only difference is adding takedowns, but he would stay the same as he is already. However, that would be default original trilogy Palpatine. Palp still has two extra playstyles, with the first one being Palpatine from Revenge of the Sith, where he uses his lightsaber. So yes, we would finally get a lightsaber wielding Palpatine in Battlefront 3. But with that said, let's start with his stats. So unlike Palpatine already, who has 700 health, Revenge of the Sith Palpatine would start out with a base health of 750, which is average for a Saber hero. He would also have a health regeneration of 250, which again is average. For his damage output, Palpatine would deal 130 damage to the front and 160 damage to the back. He would have a swing speed of 2.0 swings per second. Yes, that is fast. But Palpatine is quick, guys. Especially if you hear Star Wars Theory talk about it. Go subscribe to his channel. But Sidious literally jumped in the air, spinning to the Jedi, to stab and slash Jedi Masters Egan Kolar and Sacy's Tin in 6.63 seconds. That's how fast he can be when he's not just toying with his enemies like he was with Mace Windu. Now, Palpatine would get 14 attacks while being able to block 13 attacks with his lightsaber before running out of stamina. Now, just like for the swing speed, Sidious is quick, 
so I would upgrade his run speed to 2.39. Also, the dash would still stay the same. As for the jumping, I would keep it the same. Both height and farness would be the same as Palpatine already, however, this Palpatine would have a double jump. But, it's like a normal jump. It's not really floating like he is in Battlefront 2, if that makes any sense. Now, moving on to the abilities. So the left ability would be called Dark Energy. Palpatine would conjure up a blue smoke of energy in a wide radius that is 40 meters long. The energy would move forward to grab anyone in the radius and slowly pull them towards Sidious. Like what we see Palpatine do to Ezra in Star Wars Rebels. Now, each second you're being pulled is 5 damage you're being dealt. So if you grab them while they're 36 or more meters away, they will receive 15 damage before reaching you. Now, if you move, the energy won't follow you. They will go where you were when you activated the ability. Also, while they are being pulled, they can still deflect and block, they just can't move. And this ability would have a cooldown of 16 seconds. Now the right ability would be called Sinister Attack. Similar to Darth Maul's spin attack, Palpatine would dash forward, performing the twirling maneuver from Revenge of the Sith, stabbing anyone in his path. The sinister attack would have two uses, each hit dealing 80 damage, with each use having a 5 second cooldown. And the middle ability would be called Vicious Power. Sidious would use a powerful surge of force lightning to stun the enemy for 3 seconds. You can hold the lightning for 5 seconds, but the enemy is only going to be stunned for 3. Now each second that you're in the lightning deals 5 damage. But activating the ability again would see Palpatine deliver a powerful force push to the shocked enemy. Like what Sidious does to Mace Windu in Revenge of the Sith. The push would deal 70 to 110 damage depending on how long the enemy was shocked. Shocking the enemy to immediately push them would deal 75 damage in all. Shocking the enemy and waiting 2 seconds before pushing would deal 90 damage. Waiting 3 seconds would deal 105 damage. Waiting 4 seconds would deal 120 damage. And waiting 5 seconds would deal 135 damage in all. But, it's unlikely you would get 5 seconds unless the enemy is dumb, because remember, they are only stunned for 3 seconds. The next 2 would give them time to get out of the radius for the push. And the cooldown would last 25 seconds. So that takes care of the lightsaber wielding playstyle. Now the way to unlock it, again, you'd need to get 2500 kills with default Palpatine. So, now you've unlocked the lightsaber wielding playstyle, so you start playing with that. Once you hit 2500 kills online with Palpatine's second playstyle, you would unlock Sidious's third playstyle, which is dual wield Palpatine, because of the amazing episode from the Clone Wars where Sidious fights Maul and Savage Opress with dual wielding lightsabers. So for dual wield Sidious, I would start him out with a base health of 750, again that's average, and a health regeneration of 250, again that's average. For the damage output, I would keep it the same, dealing 130 damage to the front and 160 damage to the back. However, I want to point out, just like for Anakin's hero guide, I feel like having dual wield lightsabers would hinder one's speed more than it would just having one. So he would have a swing speed of 1.8 swings per second. He can swing his lightsabers 13 times before running out of stamina, and he would be able to block 13 attacks with his lightsabers before running out of stamina. Sidious would have a run speed of 2.41, again, having two lightsabers will slow you down. And he would still have the same jump height and farness. Same as Revenge of the Sith Palpatine already, with a double jump, obviously. Now as for the abilities, the left ability would be called Malicious Lightning. 
Palpatine would use a powerful burst of force lightning that stuns enemies, making them fall to the ground, dealing 45 damage. To show no mercy and send another powerful burst of lightning, dealing an extra 45 damage, before they can even get to their feet, making 90 damage in all and this ability would have a cooldown of 18 seconds. Now the right ability would be called Hateful Pull. Palpatine would use a Force Pull to lift the enemies with the Force to just slam them on the ground in front of him, dealing 30 damage. And this ability would have a cooldown of 16 seconds. And the middle ability would be called Intense Choke. Similar to Anakin's Retribution ability, Palpatine would use a force choke that would affect enemies in a circle radius, dealing 100 damage. While the ability is active, Sidious would be able to block attacks and walk away while the enemies are still being choked in the air. The ability would last 6 seconds, however, while the enemies are being choked, they have a 95% damage reduction from others besides the 100 damage already because they can't do anything. It's not fair to them. Once their feet or body hits the floor, that's when they're completely susceptible to damage again. And this ability would have a cooldown of 26 seconds. Now that that's taken care of, let's move on to the takedowns. But before that, really quick, Make sure that you go subscribe to my channel and turn the bell notification on so you always get notified of when I post videos. Also guys, if you would, please go make sure that you like the video because it really does help the channel out a lot. And with that said, I'm not going to take up any more time, let's just get straight back to the video. So for the takedowns, you should already know how it works. I'm going to start off with default Return of the Jedi Palpatine. The first takedown would see Sidious use the force to lift the enemy in the air, throwing them up before sending out a powerful surge of force lightning that bounces off the ground to hit the falling enemy on the way down, with enough power to instantly kill them. And this would be Palpatine's default takedown. The next takedown would see Sidious use the force to grab the enemy and drop them to their knees before draining their life force out of them, like what he did to Rey and Ben Solo in The Rise of Skywalker, just for them to drop dead. And this takedown would cost 8,000 credits to unlock. And the last takedown would see Palpatine summon his lightsaber hidden in his robes, quickly sending a burst of force lightning to stun the enemy before igniting his lightsaber and throwing it at the enemy going through their chest. Like what he does to Padme in the fan fiction What If Anakin Trained Luke and Leia from Star Wars Theory. And this takedown would cost 15,000 credits to unlock. So that takes care of default Return of the Jedi Palpatine. Now, moving on to the Revenge of the Sith lightsaber playstyle. The first takedown would see Palpatine swing his lightsaber, cutting the enemy's weapon out of their hands before performing a thrustful stab, and this would be his default takedown. And the next takedown would see Palpatine send out a powerful surge of force lightning that instantly kills the enemy and throws them far away, similar to what he did to Yoda in Revenge of the Sith. And this takedown would cost 8,000 credits to unlock. And the last takedown would see Palpatine use the force to pick up a chunk of the ground and throw it down on the enemy. However, they would quickly move out of the way before being hit. Palpatine expecting it though, would have already picked up another piece of the ground to throw. This one crushing the enemy, similar to Sidious throwing the Senate floaty chairs at Yoda in Revenge of the Sith. And this takedown would cost 15,000 credits to unlock. Now that is the takedowns for Revenge of the Sith lightsaber playstyle. So finally, moving on to the last playstyle, which is the Clone Wars dual wield playstyle. The first takedown would see Palpatine use the force to pick up the enemy and slam them back on the ground before using force lightning to shock them to death. Similar to what he did to Maul in the Clone Wars. And this would be Palpatine's default takedown. 
The next takedown would see Palpatine force push the enemy into the sky to hold them there, before crushing their neck and letting them drop. And this takedown would cost 8,000 credits to unlock. And the last takedown would see Palpatine perform a drop kick, throwing the enemy off balance to then quickly back his lightsabers into the enemy before force pushing them away, basically what Sidious does to Savage Opress in the Clone Wars. And this takedown would cost 15,000 credits to unlock. And with that done, that takes care of the takedowns. Moving on to the star cards. So if you've watched the series this far, you know how we do this. So default Return of the Jedi playstyle, the star cards would stay the same. So let's start with Revenge of the Sith lightsaber playstyle. The first star card would be Attraction. Dark energy has a greater range. The next star card would be Flow Motion. Emperor Palpatine can do one extra sinister attack, but the recharge rate is slightly slower. The next star card would be Rush Immunity. Every sinister attack makes Emperor Palpatine more resistant to damage for 3 seconds. And the next star card would be Safeguard. After blocking 5 blaster shots, 2 abilities, or lightsaber attacks with his block, Emperor Palpatine gains a permanent reduction of 2% to all his stamina costs to a maximum. This effect resets when Palpatine is defeated. The next star card would be Unlimited Power. When activating Vicious Power, enemies will be stunned for an extra second, but the cooldown will be slightly slower. The next star card would be Amplified Aura. If there are three or more enemies within Dark Energy, it deals bonus damage. And the next star card would be Forceful Thrust. Vicious Power throws the enemy farther away. And the next star card would be Berserking Tantrum. Emperor Palpatine's lightsaber strikes drain less stamina. And the last star card would be Power of Darkness. After using Dark Energy, Emperor Palpatine's lightsaber damage is increased for 6 seconds. So there we go. Now, for the Clone Wars Dual Wield playstyle. So the first star card would be Sith Trained. Emperor Palpatine deals extra damage with his lightsaber attacks, but they drain 25% more stamina. The next star card would be Lightning Reach. Emperor Palpatine's malicious lightning has increased range. The next star card would be Evil Intent. Malicious Lightning would have a faster recharge rate, but its overall damage is reduced. And the next star card would be Harsh Pull. Hateful Pull will deal more damage to enemies. And the next star card is Attraction. Hateful Pull has a greater range. And the next star card would be Control the Force. The base radius of Intense Choke is larger. The next star card would be Raw Strength. Intense Choke deals 50 more damage, but its recharge rate is slower. The next star card would be Beating Heart. Emperor Palpatine has increased maximum health regeneration. And the last star card would be Balance. Emperor Palpatine gains an extra dodge ability charge, but his stamina drains faster. So, that takes care of the star cards. So now let's just move on to the appearances. Okay, so you should know how we do this by now, but if you've forgotten, here's a list of all the appearance levels. Got it? Good! With that said, I've got some ideas, so let's get to them. So Palpatine's default appearance would be his standard look from the original trilogy, just the normal black robes. The next appearance option would be Senate Arena from The Phantom Menace, and I would have this be 20,000 credits to unlock. And the next appearance option would be his look from the ending of The Phantom Menace, and I would have this be 40,000 credits to unlock. The next appearance option would be his standard look in Attack of the Clones, and I would have this be 40,000 credits to unlock. 
The next appearance option would be Chancellor from Attack of the Clones, and I would have this be 40,000 credits to unlock. And the next appearance option would be Do It. Basically his look from the beginning of Revenge of the Sith. And I would have this be 40,000 credits to unlock. And the next appearance option would be Sith Lord Red from Revenge of the Sith. And I would have this be 80,000 credits to unlock. And the next appearance option would be Order 66 from Revenge of the Sith. And I would have this be 80,000 credits to unlock. And the next appearance option would be Emperor from Revenge of the Sith. And I would have this be 100,000 credits to unlock. And the next appearance option would be Deformed from The Rise of Skywalker. And I would have this be 100,000 credits to unlock. And the next appearance option would be The Sith from The Rise of Skywalker. And I would have this be 100,000 credits to unlock. And the next appearance option would be Darth Sidious from The Clone Wars. And I would have this be 80,000 credits to unlock. And finally, the last appearance would be Blue. That, yeah, that's the name for it, Blue, from the 2D Clone Wars Episode 2. I would have this be 15,000 credits to unlock, because it's basically just the beginning look from Revenge of the Sith for Palpatine, but instead of gray, it's blue. So, 15,000 credits, there you go. There are the appearances for Palpatine. With that said, let's move on to the emotes. Okay, same thing for the emotes. You should know how we do this by now. Each emote costs 5,000 credits, and I like to start with naming the four or five default emotes from Battlefront 2 already, and then I go and just show you guys the ones that I would personally add for Battlefront 3. So, with that said, let's get to them. Now you will experience the full power of the dark side. Use your aggressive feelings, boy. Let the heat flow through you. Do what must be done, Lord Vader. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. Only now, at the end, do you understand. A remaining Jedi will be hunted down and defeated. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. I have waited a long time for this moment. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed. We must move quickly. The Jedi are relentless. If they are not all destroyed, it will be civil war without end. Your arrogance blinds you, Master Yoda. You cannot stop what is to come. Once more, the Sith will rule the galaxy. Now, young Skywalker, you will die. <laughs> Stop me. Good. There is a great disturbance in the Force. <laughs> Only through me can you achieve a power greater than any Jedi. I have died before. I can feel your anger. It gives you focus. Makes you stronger. It's treason, then. They asked you to spy on me, didn't they? Do it. Are you going to kill me? I am the Senate. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I must say you're here sooner than expected. Everything is going as planned. Kill him. Kill him now. have done well. There is no mercy. 
So guys, that was the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Please go subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Make sure that you hit that bell notification so you always get notified of when I post videos. Make sure that you go follow me on all my social medias here. Now this has been the Movie Cave. I've been your host, Ethan Barrett, telling you guys to make sure that you come back for the next video because you are not going to want to miss it. And with that said, guys, I love you. But more importantly, remember, God loves you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I hope I don't get copyright for doing this.